gonna go through all the products and talk to you guys about last week's makeup bag and what I'm gonna add in this week's makeup bag. I did a whole separate camping beauty routine video. Where are we going? To the yurt! This week's vlog I will show you a little bit of our camping but most of the camping vlog will be a separate video that will go up in maybe one or two weeks so much footage and I want to like tell an actual story and take you along on this amazing amazing trip we got back yesterday afternoon but we had a little bit of a situation where we had brought home some souvenirs that we didn't need in the form of little black bugs yeah. spent a couple hours cleaning searching for them and then chris took the car to get vacuumed and we still found some more <laughs> in the car today it's okay it's just part of camping dean is our amazing dog whisperer she did such a good job with them like they're better behaved <laughs> than when we left mm -hmm. she should take them forever oh uh, christine anytime you want to borrow them or uh babysit we're I'm happy. Uh, no, stop trying to give her dogs away. Okay. I'm gonna go through all the products and talk to you guys about last week's makeup bag and what I'm gonna add in this week's makeup bag. We'll go into the room so Chris doesn't have to hear me. He's gonna hear me anyways, but he won't have to like pretend he's interested. <laughs> I'm gonna show you what I have in here. I did a whole separate camping beauty routine video, but I'll talk about the products that I've been using all week that I brought with me, plus the products I used for probably most of last week into the weekend, but I'll switch out and everything like that. Let's get started. This is the Algenes Color Correcting Finishing Powder that I was using for maybe about a week and a half now, and I brought this with me to go camping. It's just a really easy way to take down some of the shine and also color correct. You won't really notice much with this product other than you just look better. I like it, it's also in a pressed form, which is a little easier to like throw in your bag. This is nothing new here. This has just been living in my makeup bag as a bronzer. This is the Zuzu Lux medium mosaic illuminator i accidentally actually used this as my powder thinking it was my powder and i put it all over my face which actually gave me this really beautiful bronzy sun-kissed look i built it up on my cheekbones so it's very versatile in that you can use it all over your face and then build it up more in the areas you want more bronze. Very beautiful product. I also like that Zuzu Lux is 100% clean and toxic free. This has just been my brow duo for the last week and a half at this point. This is the Kimiko Super Fine Eyebrow Pencil. I got this from Detox Market, a retractable eyebrow pencil in the shade Coffee. I use it to fill in the sparser areas of my brows usually the head and the tail. Go in with the spoolie to just brush everything out. I really enjoy this. I would say it's a very similar dupe to the Anastasia Brow Wiz, but clean. Thrive Cosmetics Instant Brow Fix Semi-Permanent Brow Gel in Serena. <laughs> I really enjoy this spoolie and I enjoy the shade and the color. My only thing is sometimes you have to wipe some of the product off, otherwise you're gonna get little splotches of product and it's 
not evenly distributed you can definitely brush it out as well there is a little bit of a learning curve i think this works better for those with fluffier brows and thicker brow hairs but i do like this to set and build up and if you want that bushier brow effect this is definitely a product i would look into because it gives you a little bit more of that messy line on your brows these were also products from my makeup bag that I brought with me to go camping. This is the Gabriel Liquid, Liquid Radiance. I've been using this for quite a long time now. I really enjoy it. It comes in like this roller ball. It's a liquid highlight. It's clean, toxic free, cruelty free. I actually had Gabriel on Behind the Beauty podcast. If you guys don't know, Behind the Beauty podcast is a podcast that I host. We discuss all things beauty related, but more specifically about all the different industries and paths in the beauty industry, entrepreneurship, women-led businesses, really just life. It, it kind of all revolves around the beauty industry, but beyond that, which is called Behind the Beauty Podcast. It's free to listen and download on iTunes, Google Play, SoundCloud, Spotify, all of the listening places you can find us. We're in season five right now, I think, or we're producing season five, but season four is currently happening. So I think 70 some episodes, so definitely give us a listen totally free um we're trying to improve the audio quality constantly and we might do a live taping for season five gabriel cosmetics i fell in love with gabriel he's amazing i love what he stands for and his path to clean beauty he was really one of the first innovators so i really love this um it, i'm wearing it today it's just very easy very natural One thing i have kind of fallen in love with the last week just by forcing myself to use it more and realizing how good it is. This is the Tata Harper Very Sweet Cheek Tint. This is a cheek tint that I just put on my cheeks and then I'll sometimes dab it on my lips. Honestly, I don't use it very often on my lips, more on my cheeks. It just gives me a nice little flush. It smells like cherries. I enjoyed it. It just wakes up my face a little bit. Um, I'll show you the rest of the stuff I brought in my camping beauty video that will be up soon. This is the rest of the stuff I had in my makeup bag that I've been testing for a little over a week now. These two palettes that I got from NARS are awesome. And after I added them in my makeup bag Monday last week, I have been using them all over the face. Bounty and Manaba. Manaba is the pink blush toned with a lighter bronzer, a more champagne-y highlight. I used this all over my face, all over my eyes. It's just really, really stunning. I'll show you the swatches because I'm sure you guys will want to see it. Very easy, very blendable, good NARS quality palettes. Really enjoyed those. And this one I actually enjoyed a lot more than I thought I was going to because I wanted to wear this coral. I used it all over my eyes as well as my cheeks and it gave me like summery pop. And this bronzer is actually surprisingly wearable even though it's a little bit darker. And then this highlight is also really, really beautiful. It's also, I would say, a champagne-y shade, but in comparison to the other one, not quite as bright comparison this bronzer is lighter this one's deeper this one's a more uh, intense highlight more subtle highlight corally more pinky so if you guys can still get them they're exclusive to nordstrom i do like them if you've been eyeing them if you can hear dolly it's because she's on the floor chewing her bone next to me something i didn't get a lot of chance to continue to use so i'm going to keep it in my makeup bag this week is the tinted moisturizer bb spf 30 from derma e i did use my clay to poe concealer a little bit but i'm going to keep that in my makeup bag because i only used it maybe twice since putting it in here mainly because i just haven't been using concealer if it's still staying in my makeup bag because it's kind of my makeup bag or project pan staples thrive cosmetics lip gloss and ruth it's just so easy Julia and she was lower lash kind of eyeshadow stick my bite beauty 036 lip pencil which is on sale right now on sephora and bite beauty's website zulux clear mascara because you can always use it for taming your brows this is i can never remember this brand style nada velvet lip tint in hashtag taupe and then i still have my setting powder i haven't reached for it in a couple days just because I haven't needed to. This is the Airbrush Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Finish. I wear the shade 2. So good. Still testing out the Agent Natur Holy Stick Number no. 3 deodorant. I really like the way this smells. 
it, it smells really uni unisex and I enjoy it. And then these are the new things I added and I think I'm going to continue to keep these in my makeup bag as well because I just haven't been wearing a ton of lip products. But here are some glosses from NARS. This is also from that limited edition set at Nordstrom. I couldn't find it online. I'm sure you can find similar shades. They're the satin lip pencils from NARS as well. Same kind of a situation with the anniversary sales exclusive. I am going to keep those lip products um, the derma e tinted moisturizer bb keeping the same clay to poe um this is my makeup project pan the brow products as well i'm going to try and rotate out some of these products so i'm going to rotate out the zuzu lux because i've been loving that and using that to death i'm going to rotate out the gabriel liquid radiance because i've been using that to death i'm going to rotate out the algenus color correcting powder just because i want to use the bb more and now that i'm back and the weather's drier i can use more of a cream i'm going to rotate these palettes out because i think i got a lot of use out of it and i should rotate things should i keep or should i rotate this out let's look and see what i want to try out that's in my makeup collection or new that i've been wanting to test i'm gonna rotate in one of my favorite products this is the ilia color haze multi matte pigment in waking up and because i'm rotating that in i'm gonna rotate the tata harper out bronzer is so heavy but this is from fluff yes or no and it's this very interesting new brand so i'm gonna try and rotate this bronzer in and because i'm rotating this bronzer in i'm gonna rotate my zuzu Lux out i also have these elf flush blush and jelly pop face and eye glosses so i think i'm going to see what these feel like so crazy they're so jelly i'm oh my gosh look at that pigment like blend it out let's see about this shade wow okay i think i'm gonna rotate this one which is i don't even know what shade this is because i don't have a label on it i think i'm just gonna rotate this one in to see how i play with that i've been wanting to test out these Givenchy healthy glow powders so this one is in natural rose or natural dore i think maybe natural dore for me yeah definitely natural dore you know what i love that i have i kind of miss is i'm going to use this cream highlight this is the liquid light serum highlighter from ilia this is in the shade nova so now i have a powder one and a liquid one should i add anything else am i being overly ambitious i got tickets to go see Sutton Foster in Into the Woods at the Hollywood Bowl. I got tickets for $19 a piece, which is really a probably nosebleed, but I just want to see Sutton Foster live. I love her so much. And the last time I saw her was in Violet on Broadway, which is in 2014. We'll just have a nice little date night on Sunday night. So I do want to do some sort of an eyeshadow palette to play with. Oh, there these, these. I wanted to try these. Okay. I'm going to rotate this out for a little bit. My powder because i'm gonna try the makeup forever matte skin finish it's supposed to be 12 hour wear so this one is in the shade ooh, y305 i feel like that's a good match so i'm taking two powders out and putting this makeup forever one in let's see let's see i know this is a little insane guys are there do i have any new palettes to play with i don't think i have any new eyeshadow palettes to play with which is totally fine maybe i will pull out my ether palette or i feel like i've been using that a lot so let's see i just haven't been wearing a lot of eye makeup lately i feel like i should oh i have this i didn't even see it okay i forgot about these bounce and blur dusk eyeshadows they're supposed to be like super smooth i like this more I like this more maroony shade. I could see myself wearing that. So I'm going to throw this in there as well. Throw in their new blushes. I feel like this one's calling to me. Coral Cloud. Throw that in there. Is this a bronzer? This is Blurred Buff. I'm going to throw that in there. So that's all the old stuff that's staying in my makeup bag until I have better reviews. I'm going to add the new Bare Minerals Bounce and Blur Dusk eyeshadow two of their new blushes i'm adding the makeup forever pressed powder foundation this is the matte velvet skin and we've got the new elf jelly pop blush for my cream blush a highlight liquid light from ilia these 
This is something that I've already loved, so I'm just rotating in in case anything new I don't like. I still have something. The Ilia Color Haze, this is like a ride or die favorite of mine currently, so again, in case things don't work out. This is the new Fluff Bronzer, new Givenchy Highlight in Natural Dore. Makeup bag for this coming week. Make sure you tune in every Sunday for a new Makeup Bag Monday update. If you want to know kind of the new situation for Makeup Bag Mondays, I have an entire playlist of the series in the description box. I will also um, link last week's video that explains how Makeup Bag Mondays are moving forward. Just make sure you're subscribed, give this video a thumbs up, let me know in the comment section how you're doing. I always love hearing from you guys. I know this past week I did two ASMR videos um, in a row, but I hope you enjoyed it. I felt really stressed, so I thought maybe those of you guys who are stressed would benefit from it. I feel good coming back. Um, I'm still kind of grieving from having to come back, but I'm processing everything and I have so much content I can't wait to share with you guys from our trip. It was really nice to have like shoddy Wi-Fi and just disconnect and be in nature and just slow down, slow the F down. I will check back next week about Makeup Bag Monday on a Sunday and oh, I didn't spend anything while we were camping. Chris bought me a mug, but that was him buying it for me. I bought tickets for $19 a piece for the uh, Hollywood Bowl to go see Sutton Foster on Sunday. So that's all I spent. And I feel good about my spending. I feel non-materialistic and I am definitely on the right path in my financial journey, just where I want to be in life. So, you know, there are some rough days and there's some good days, but I feel good overall. So I'm wishing you a wonderful, wonderful rest of your Sunday and I'll see you guys back here on Wednesday. Bye.